Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers and welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We are picking up some hay bales. Uh, yes, uh, soon, soon, get in there, uh, soon soon to be in storage somewhere. I got one bale I don't want to pick up and it's that one right there on the left hand side. That is a grass bale. That was left in our baler obviously. So I don't know how many bales I actually did here. But, uh, yeah, I picked up some hay. I finished um, weeding. Yeah, I'm going to send fertilize, but uh, weeding our... No. Uh, weeding our cotton field behind us. Or on the side of us. So, that is ready to go. And I got our harvester... Our New Holland harvester ready to go for some corn. Once we get taken care of our hay bales here. And just one more, I do believe. I think so. Alright, so what I'm going to do here, after this gets un done unloading here, uh, I think probably the best thing to do is... Eh, I don't need to save game. If it, if it goes all wrong here, um, we know how to edit things. So, like yesterday we were talking about these storage bales area. Hey, they're on a, they're on a discount, uh, fifty thousand dollars. Yes, sir. Um, hay and straw. Let's go to details. Here we are. Um, let me scroll in here. Let's get this in nice. I'm trying to see. There looks like I gotta leave space on both sides of the shed. It looks like. Um, so I can't put it like right up in a corner. But what I want to do is put it right against the fence line. I hate to say, I, I want to try this. Are these 90 degree rotations or... No, you can turn those 360. Alright. 360. Um, there's the fence post. Um, do I want to just put it... Yeah, we'll do it like this here. I can kind of use a road as a lineup and leave me some space. Ah, the heck with the space. Let's get back as far as we can. I can do some landscaping afterwards. Uh, whoops, clicked. It's down. All right, so there's that one. This one here looks a little bit different, as we can see. Uh, I'm not quite sure I know how this is going to look. I want to give myself some space on that side to get in there because I don't know what this is actually going to look like. So let's bring this over here. Yeah, we'll put it down like that. Actually, that looks relatively close-ish. I did not know the footprint of this. I would have lined up a little bit better, but uh, okay. Um, so we can see where the hay goes. So I have not tried this out at all, so let's see if I can fail this miserably. Uh, let's go ahead and get ready to unload this. So today, as I'm referring this episode, I just received... Uh, well, hang on a second. Let me, see, let me see if I can figure this out first of all. I may not have... Yeah, this is not going to go well, probably. Do I load here or unload here? Uh, I mean, I can realize I can unload the bales here. Um, this might go horribly wrong. Or do I put them... on this side over here? Which would be a lot easier for this and makes more sense. Uh, close your eyes, and what happens? Absolutely nothing happens. Nothing at all. All right. 
well. That was uh, kind of dramatic, wasn't it? Um, options, input, whoa, 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 input, output, what? Hey, mail, storage, input, output. Open product menu. Uh, hey, mail, storage, status, disabled. Um, all right, auto start on. Hey, hey, Bill, hey. Why does this say round? These are squares. Wait, what? Oh, man. All right. Lift anything mod. Let's bring over here. What does this do? All right, so you do have to bring it over to this one here. I was like, what's that blinking light? Okay, it's the storage. All right, so I'll have to lift these up. So this is where you put them into. Whoa, 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 whoa. Input. Okay, so it says, hey, bail round input. Output is... Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on here. So it looks like it cannot take it all at once. Or am I not... I have no idea what's going on. All right, so in the future, that's where we load them up. Which is kind of less convenient. Because <laughs> of our auto loader. Um, yeah, I was hoping it was more on this side, which made more sense because you have all the room in the world. Uh, but here, not so much. Okay. That is hay. Uh, it's because it's, it's not accepting it. You only can store it so fast. Okay, it's accepting those. I have no idea what's going on there. Okay, right, let's, let's, let's get you out of the zone here. Now, there you go. I don't really understand the input, inputs, outputs. Um... But 220,000 liters of hay is what we have. Hay bale storage. Outputs, inputs. Alright, left control G. Let's go into our global company. Hay and straw bale storage. Quarter rename. Open overview menu. Well, there's a traw bale storage. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be straw. Oh, that's good. Um, hey, bill storage quarter, $252,000. Maybe that's how much money I have worth of hay in there. Uh, oh, you can select camera and go right to it. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Hey, we're all learning here. Um, and I'm not quite understanding... All right, so now I got 240,000 liters of hay in there. Uh, so the inputs is done and outputs. So I'm guessing the outputs means uh, there's a storage limit, which is 60%. So I'm going to say it only holds 400,000 liters of, of hay and probably 400,000 liters of straw. That's what I'm getting out of it. All right, so now that we learned a little bit about that, um, did we? I have no idea. Oh yeah, so what I was getting back to, uh, today I received the Cytec side panel, and uh, a big thank you to uh, someone give me a gift card to buy it on Amazon, after I mentioned it. I think I mentioned about looking into this, the side panel maybe a week or two ago, something like that, and they sent me a gift card, so much appreciated. So there, I got a little bit of a learning curve here, trying to get used to the side panel, adjust all the key bindings. Um, and all that, so maybe some jitteriness more than usual here and there. But I'm just going to load up a couple of these. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over into here without knocking over the others. I'll, I'll take care of all the others off camera. But I just want to get four of them here. So 
So instead of just picking up the loose uh, grass, hay, and silage bales, uh, we actually have a place to put it and look a lot neater. So I am going to say... It's going to be the same as the other one. So let's go ahead and we'll put them in here. Now, the only thing that may, as we can see, it's kind of a pain in the butt. After I load with this auto loader, after you load them up once to reload them again, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, accepted three right off. Um, do I get an input output? All right, take it out of the square, bring it back in. All right, so it seemed like if it's not in a certain area, it looks like a lot of silage already. Huh? <laughs> uh, but at least the, the piles look good. So I'll have to see how it does when it's, it's time to take it on out. Uh, maybe I'll do some looking into it more off camera so I'm not fiddling around with it in front of you guys and you're probably, some of you already had this model like, you're doing it wrong. Of course I'm doing it wrong. I never do it right. Uh, so let's hop back in here because we got some other major chores to do uh, which is get over to the other side of the river and we got some chaff and corn to take care of. So I do have that one grass bill there. I have to kind of remember it's there. And at some point, I have to come back over here and fertilize our grass field. So um, I don't know what stage this grass is in. The second stage or something like that. Maybe it's in the first growth stage. Uh, either way, I need to fertilize it again before we cut it. But our cotton fields are all set. They're, they've been weeded. They're double fertilized because we use a manure spreader. And of course, the seed roll also takes care of it as well. Oh, my case is over here as well. Hmm. That's what you get, Peanut, for not bringing your tractors back at the end of episode. You just leave them everywhere, and occasionally you do put them back, but uh, lately, not so much. Yeah, because we're going to need that guy in a little while. But I guess, I, I know, the reason why we're going to need him is he's, he's going to need to cultivate our cornfields after they get plowed. Let's go ahead and back this guy in here. So, yeah, spent $100,000 on some sheds. But I want to give them a good tryout here. And, of course, Pacific Northwest, you know, what's $100,000 when you owe as much as we do? Uh, okay, so the Fent tractor I'm going to need along with the loading wagon. Because what we'll be doing today is while our New Holland is harvesting corn for food for the pigs... And the tractor, I mean, excuse me, the uh, Volvo and the trailer are emptying out our New Holland. This guy here will be doing the chaff and bring over to the BGA so we can make some more silage to make some more total mix rations because um, I think we are getting kind of low. <laughs> and I hesitate there now because I'm getting mixed up probably with Mercury Farms, but I think also Mercury Farms are running low too as well. But we don't care because we're selling that farm next week. Uh, yeah, but I need some uh, silage because we brought some hay over, obviously. Uh, that was yesterday as well. And I don't stop at stop signs. I blow right through them. Hopefully no traffic is coming. I've been looking for contracts on field 33, and obviously field 35 is in the last growth stage of canola. Uh, I better get a harvesting contract on that so I can help feed the pigs with some of their canola. Give me some free crop, you know. I did empty out about another, um, I think it was like 30,000 liters of barley from the field. So, yeah, we brought a full trailer over, fed the pigs, put the some in storage. And when the harvester finished, he had about another 30,000 liters inside. So I brought it back over to that silo and dumped it in there. And so we got a little bit of cereal crop for our pigs for a while. Not much, uh, but uh, it's going to be good for them for a few days at least. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to hire a worker here. 
that should be good enough. Now it's corn, so it's not going to be a... It's, he's not going to fill up too fast, but... He has started. And what we're going to do is we're going to climb in over here. And finally, because we haven't used our forage harvester in quite a while. But it's time to make some more chaff so we can get some silage up and going in this place. Now the good thing with our forage harvester, it does have a, has a capacity of 60 grand. So when I'm running back and forth to the BGA and unloading this, he can continue working for a little bit. Let's go say hello to some cows. Hello, ladies. How are you all today? Now, there is a great demand for wool at the moment, but, um, yeah, the price isn't the greatest. So I'm not too concerned about it. That's a wonderful camel view. Camel view? Camera view. Camel. Uh, yeah. No camels on this map. So unfold. Nope, nope, wrong. Uh, need to be on the header to unfold. There you go. And also put the pipe out. put him on a helper and now we get to do some shuttling around I'm coming dude now I probably should have done this before it was ready for harvest but from what I've seen in testing and I think I've talked about this before there isn't much of a yield difference from before harvest and during harvest and uh, second stage of harvest there isn't much of a yield difference we're going to get plenty of chaff out of here for silage. And I'm trying to remember, I think it was that field right there that we did last time on our right hand side for chaff. Turn around here. And the process begins. Hopefully I don't, uh, hopefully I can go unload and get back before he gets full, but I don't think that's going to happen. He's going to fill up rather quickly. But of course, after we harvest all this corn on all our fields, they're all going to need to be plowed, cultivated, and reseeded with something. And uh, we'll see how we do corn-wise on the pigs. Um... If we can uh, fulfill their needs for 10 days. And we'll probably get a crop in here that we can sell. And I'll have to see. I think we're doing fine on straw and all that. So it'd probably be like an oilseed crop. Maybe like canola or soybean. Maybe some flowers. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, we're not going to get to planting today. I think today's is pretty much going to be a harvest, and then uh, next episode will be like plowing, cultivating, and reseeding these three fields. Now, really, I probably should have our wheel loader over here. So he can start compacting this as we're going. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I think we're just going to go ahead and harvest the field and take care of the compacting later on. I don't think I'm going to get back in time before our forge harvester is full. At least these fence posts here 
open up rather quickly. They're fast reacting, which is good. Well, I haven't got the message that he's 80% full yet, so... Hopefully I can get to him and, and turn around quickly before he fills up. Well, he's 80% full. Come on, hurry up, turn that pipe around and start unloading quickly. Just in time, I do believe. So I won't be going with full trips to the BGA because basically he's already full and since I'm down here by this road, I'll probably just take what he gives me and run. Which is almost a full trailer anyways. So, And he's going to stop traffic for us too. How sweet of him. Pardon me, coming through. Progress is being made. Um, I'm going to say we're like maybe 35, 40% done. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Um, but we seem to have a good system here. I seem to get right back in the field as he's 80% full. Um, but getting closer to the center of the field just means that uh, I have more... I have more driving to do to get out of the field and to the BGA, but I'm still getting here in time. Unloading quick enough. So it seems like we can almost get like two passes. He can go up and down the field twice. And uh, as long as I get here in time, we're fine. And I get like a full trailer, well, almost a full trailer. We're getting like 83, 84,000 liters out of here. Give or take. Uh, yeah, so it's just 83, we'll say 83, 492. So quite a few trips to the BGA, as you can imagine, if we're only getting uh, one trip up and down for a trailer. Um, this is what can screw me up a little bit, is when the traffic stops. And now, okay, this is going to be a little bit weird. Yep, yep, yep. No, 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 no. Oh, this is this has gone horribly bad. Horribly bad. I should just let the car go, but you know, I'm <laughs> I'm in a race, and now I think I lost the race because I don't think I'm gonna get back in time now for the harvester. Uh sure, the first time I bring you back, and this is this is what happens. This is what happens. Well we're getting a nice row here. This is my last uh time I'm gonna dump it in this row, and then it's time to start a second one. Yeah, that was a terrible backup. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so far behind on this load anyway. So let's let's get it right here. I mean, if I if I get back before the harvester is full, it'll be amazing because that was just bad all around. Let's see when we get the signal of eighty percent full. Usually, I get this. Get, get it 80% full when I at least get halfway into the field towards the harvester. Uh, no, he's halfway full in the, uh, in the halfway. <laughs> he's 80% full. So, yeah, he's going to fill up before I get there for sure. Maybe not. And, uh, of course he did. Okay, but what this has allow me since uh, I've, I've fudged up there quite badly... Um, I'm not going to get near him just yet because our other harvester has been full for a little while. And I haven't been able to stop what I was doing to get to him. So let's go ahead and unload him. So this just means we got at least 60,000 liters of corn. Already. But as we do know, the pigs take a lot of corn. So I don't know if I'm going to plant corn again. Like I said, we'll have to wait and see how this harvest goes. But he should be able to finish this field without me having to deal with it. So I'll turn that engine back off. We'll get back over here. I 
And I'll get the little pieces. So the problem I have is when he gets full, of course, he's harvesting so fast, he kind of goes, kind of goes past to where um, he overshoots a little bit, uh, basically. So I'll pick up little pieces like that afterwards we get done. Because if I hop in there, I'm just going to do some crop destruction. So once he empties out his his uh, capacity, wherever that may be on this thing, he'll get going. And we'll unload some more. But like I said, we're probably like halfway through now, ish, somewhere in there. As long as I get done with the chaff before it gets dark. So I got a couple more hours to go, or more like an hour and a half. I think we'll be fine. Well, we are almost done here, and yeah, I did uh, pretty good getting back here uh, this time. Not so much. Uh, yeah, the so the first time you saw, the second time was just because it was it had nothing to do with timing, other than you know, middle of the field, I had a longer way to drive to get out of the field to either entryway. And uh, this time here, the reason why it's taking me longer to get back is now I actually got to drive over the chaff to dump it into the silo bunker. Which you'll see shortly. Uh, but this is all working out rather well the way this field is set up. Uh, one path up, one path down. Timing is pretty good as we can see. So not too bad. Um, last time I did this though, I, I did have a couple people not too happy with the way I was collecting the chaff and compacting it. You know, because you know they were pretty much saying that you need to compact it as you empty it in there. <laughs> and... Uh, in multiplayer, yeah, probably that's the way you should do it, and uh, you can do it. But when you're playing single player, it would take me forever to collect chaff off that field while I'm compacting this at the same time. And this is why it's taking me a little bit longer to get around, because I might get stuck. Come on. Yep. Yep. And this is what I have to do. Yeah, I'll come in here and grab, lift anything. Mod. Just move me forward just a little bit. I'm not too worried about the harvester this time because uh, he should be on his last pass. Now, how much chaff do we have in here? I have no idea. Not a clue. I don't know how, mo how much we got last time. And I can't remember if we just did one field or did we do all those fields over there. I don't know. Uh, but look at that. Uh, he has finished right at 7.30 in the evening as the lights come on. And what I'll do is I'm just going to park this guy down here. We'll hop into the combine harvester, forge harvester actually. And we'll take care of the pieces that um, I was kind of slow at getting to. So our harvester has finished harvesting this co uh, cotton, corn. It begins with C. What do you want from me? Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll probably, we'll probably harvest the other corn, oh, probably in the morning, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, that's right, gotta put the pipe out first, don't run over the crop. It's funny that the helper doesn't need the pipe out, but for me to turn on the header, I need the pipe out. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the wheel loader over here. But I think that wheel loader, I think last time I did it, I do believe I can put uh, double tires on that. Or can I? Uh, maybe I can't. I don't know. We'll find out. Then we'll bring them on over and we'll go ahead and uh, start compacting our chaff. Get it holy, you know, all the way 100% and it will ferment overnight. In the next episode, we'll finish harvesting the rest of the corn. Uh, we got one field to go, and we'll start plowing, cultivating these fields here. Now, it's taking a little use to getting, uh, it's going to take a while to use this uh, side panel. But with all the extra buttons on it, who needs a keyboard? It's just a matter of <laughs> remembering what buttons do what on it. So once again, a, a big thank you for the donation. Uh, was not expecting that at all. 
All right, so let's back this guy in here, and he will be good to go in another month or so. Uh, but we own it. It's all good. Stop right there. Thank you. Uh, let's go bring... Nope, not that button, because that was too far up. There we go. Now, as many trips as I made, I want to say um, I was kind of counting the trips and then I lost track. So, and in, without full loads, I think it's going to be one and a quarter million liters of chaff that we have. So, obviously, that's a lot of silage. All right, let's see what happens this time when I go up here. Am I going to get stuck again? Nope, not this time. Now, I did have a thought about our new storage points for bales. Uh, so, we have... <laughs> not too bad. 1.274,000 uh, liters. So, I, I was guessing one and a quarter. So, um, And I'm 11% compacted already. Uh, that's kind of nice. Alright, so let's get this guy out of here. And then I'll have to go all the way over to the pig farm or hog barn. Now, uh, grab our front loader wheel loader sorry so actually a wheel loader and we'll I'll go, I'll go to the repair shop over there first and see if i can put dualies on it if i can um then i'll stop at the one over here and do it over here i don't want to put dualies on it way over there and drive it on over because yeah that that would be uh kind of a wide ride on the way over i'm gonna turn that off but since I'm going over there, let's go ahead and we'll grab our truck and trailer. And we'll must bring some of this corn on over and feed up some of the pigs. Well, some of them. How about all of them? That would work. But while we're just driving around, maybe I should uh, bring this up because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of planning what is going to be coming onto this channel later on. Uh, obviously, well, we know that Mercury Farms is coming to an end, but also there's a couple more new games coming to the channel. Um, one, and uh, it won't be for another month. So I have a new game coming along for that. And, um... Hey, come on. There we go. Oh, I parked too far away. Yeah, so that game would be Planet Zoo. Uh... If any of you are interested about that, uh, that will be coming to the channel. Um, I did buy the uh, deluxe package, so I'll have the two week. I can play. You know, I'll get the game for two weeks before it gets released, or something like that. And then, uh, then once it gets released, I think I'll have to start a brand new, fresh game on that. Uh, but that'll be coming to the channel. Um, also, if you did like, if you do like Farmer's Dynasty, obviously you may have heard about Lumberjack's Dynasty. That will be coming out this fall, so obviously I want to stick my hands into that, see how that goes. It's basically, I think it's basically the same concept as Farmer's Dynasty other than you're a lumberjack. And also for you that follow, uh, follow Farmer's Dynasty, uh, they did say at GamesCon that full release will be the first quarter of 2020. So I would assume that might mean uh, coming to console then. Uh, we'll have to see on that because, well, they've been promising that game coming to console for more than a year. I think it was supposed to come out in spring, the first quarter of 2019. And it kept getting pushed back. But anywho, so, yeah, uh, so two new games, uh, Planet Zoo and... Well, I don't know when Lumberjack's Dynasty is actually coming out. They just said fall of 2019 for early access. So we'll have to see exactly when that comes out. Now let's go feed the pigs. They will take all of this for sure. And, yep, yeah, we'll use a fence to stop. That that's That's always helpful. Oh, no, now I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. Good. All right, don't don't use a fence. I was trying to use the uh, mouse on the side <laughs> on the side panel 
and I took my eyes off the road. I'm like, oh, I'm here already. Yep, trying to get used. To, I, I swear that my desk is starting to look like a cockpit of a 747 with a steering wheel, side panel, keyboard, mouse. No, I don't want to put it in here. I need better brakes on this trailer. All right, so let's go ahead and give the pig some corn. Yeah, so that might that might bring it up to here. We got three hundred three fifty seven. That's a good number. Not bad, and we got one more field to go. So I don't know if they'll top them off or not tomorrow, because obviously they'll eat some overnight, and uh, we'll probably have something like twenty more pigs at that point. Uh, turn the lights off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Now the question we all have here put those on as well. If I can, like I said, then we'll go at the workshop over there and put them on over there because I gotta go over the bridge with this thing. Uh customize. Uh, well, nope. Just the balloon tires like we already have on here. Uh, oh yeah, that's the design of that. Don't care. So yeah, I don't have any other choices. So nope, it is what it is. But we'll go with it. Oh yeah. So well, what I was going to mention was the the storage points we have for our bales. So yeah, our baler is a twenty thousand liter capacity baler. So our bales are twenty thousand liters. Makes perfect sense the way I said it. I am thinking when I want to take my silage and hay bales out of there, my guess is they're going to come out as 4,000 liter bales. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Uh, if, if they do so, I wonder if I can go back to the XML files and edit the output. And I'm pretty sure it'll say output 4,000 liters. I do wish, though, that the points were reversed for unloading and probably loading, because our auto-loading trailer does not is not going to like unloading there. I probably should have cleaned out the pig trough when I was over there, but I did not. So, oh well. <laughs> Yeah, so next episode in the morning, we'll get the harvester going on the other cornfield. And then, of course, uh, probably get the John Deere going on plowing. And I'll have the case tractor, quad tech over here, and he'll cultivate. Uh, at least that's the plan. And from what I see on the pigs, um, I think we're fine on corn for a while. That, you know, if the meter is full on the base game, that should be sh uh, sufficient, uh, sufficient for 10 days. So I think we'll put a crop down here that we can harvest and sell. And I probably should check the price on the silage because I haven't done that at all since I loaded the game back up. But I want to get this guy up and going so we can compact it. Probably take him a while since it's a uh, 1.2 to 7 million liters of chaff that we need to compact. The quad tech will probably be actually the best thing to compact it with. But since I'm not really doing it, it's going to be coarse play, then it's, I'm all good. Uh, it'll be fine. Yeah, we should be set for silage for a while unless I decide to sell it. Because I think we get, is it $300 here on the Pacific Northwest in hard economy? Oh, now we got to check. I got to check the price of silage anyways. So, uh, there's a great demand for um, wool. And that's actually gone up a little bit. Uh, actually, it's only $200 here. So, 
Oh, look at the price of silage at the barn. 130 and dropping. Ugh. I did not sign up for that. All right, put the bucket way up so I don't get any chaff in there. Don't don't you dare get stuck on me until we get until we get course play going. A couple of mounds here and there I need to take care of. And this is going to take them a while. It might take them in the morning to compact all of this. Oh no, I'm stuck. Ooh, the SaySac side panel does not work on the shovel in the truck. It worked on the front loader. Interesting. All right. There we go. Just a little pressure downwards. All I needed. All right, so I compacted it well enough, so I got nice and smooth, and now I got course play going to work. Um, he'll be here for a while. I tried to zigzag a little bit with course play, just so I can smooth it out and make it look a little bit better, and make him cover more of an area. So yeah, he's already at, he's at eighteen percent. I think uh, when I got here, it was at eleven percent from just running over and dumping it in here. Uh, but he'll be going for a little while, uh, obviously. Uh, what I want to do here... Um, okay, it shows this barn, so... Okay, let's jump over the fence. Alright, so... Obviously nothing in straw... Next hand tool. Alright, so I got 24,000 liter. Yeah, I know that. Alright, let me come over here. Overview. Placeable object. Farmland back. Okay, I know they're here. So my question is, output percentage 20,000 liters, status disabled. Auto on. I think I'll have to figure this out afterwards. Um, Yeah, just trying to figure out how to... I mean, do I do I actually need to bring, like, a... Ooh, okay, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. All right, so... All right, if I click on it, which makes sense... Space, pawn, zero pallet. Maximum, add. Uh, remove. Add, what? Maximum. Maximum nine. What? Add. All right. So, okay. This is what... Okay. Now I'm starting to... So, maximum, obviously, is the number of... It says pallets, which is weird. Um, I only got 80,000 liters, but it says nine pallets is what I'll get out of it. So, that's... I'm going to say 10,000, I mean, obviously, 10,000, uh, you know what, let's, let's, let's see what happens here. Yeah, so they are 40, yeah, 40,000, they are 4,000 liter bales. So when I bring my loader over, the way it picks it up is going to be messy. Um... I'm going to put these back in for now. But I guess what I could do is when I want to unload them, 
is I can just, I wonder what happens. Let me unload three. I want to see if it unloads it in a stack of three. Or is it going to go like three, three across? Because obviously I did not get, so nine um, quote unquote pallets is the max you're going to be able to unload at once. So let's go in here. Let's get rid of those. So if I come back in here, I um, want to go in here. I want to spawn three of them. All right, so it's going to stack them. Oh, that sucks. All right. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It is a nice mod. Uh, this would be this would work really fine with the auto loading uh, trailer that we use once in a while. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, do I want to go back to that? Uh, I mean, it does make more sense to use the auto loader right now. I mean, in a way, we're kind of doing it anyways with the auto loader because we go around and, and and it picks it up and I don't do anything anyway so it just this is gonna be a more of a pain in the butt to when I want to unload because when I need to unload of course it stacks them high and as you saw when I unloaded them at the silage bales it didn't you know it didn't accept them all at once uh, because I think it only can where it says inputs and outputs it only can transfer over so much at a time yeah, so we might be, uh, where is that? Yeah, might be looking into this one, 56 grand for that. Uh, plus it holds more bales. And like I said, I may have to go in and I wonder if I can change the XML file to where instead of 4,000 liter output, it's going to be, go back to a 20,000 liter output. Something to think about, uh, for sure. Uh, but in the meantime... Well, he's already up to 30%, so he's getting along well. So I'm going to I'm going to kick back, have my uh my sandwich for the day and watch uh, uh what helper is this? Oh, it's course play. Well, we'll just call him uh Charles, I guess, cuz it's course play. C for Charles. Um Oh, wait a minute. All right, uh it's Cindy that's in there <laughs> apparently. I keep forgetting that could be a female in there. Uh, you get used to Farmer's Dynasty uh, having workers. They're all guys. Yeah. So Cindy's in there. She's uh, having fun driving back and forth. So that'll get compacted. We'll have plenty of silage. Which we can then put in over here. I do have 167,000 liters of TMR. Uh, we got plenty of straw and hay in here. So yeah, we'll just throw some silage in there in a day or so. Uh, make some more TMR because our cows, how are the cows actually looking? Yeah, they're they're going to require at least 200,000 liters. Um, yeah, we're up to 104 cows. Well, it's going to be 108 pretty soon. And uh, we're getting plenty of milk. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, so yeah, we're trying out the the bale storage for the Glo global company. Um yeah, I, I edited the XML file because $100,000 for those a piece just seems awfully pricey. Uh, I don't know if you think so, but I sure do. $50,000, I can live with. that. That's fine because it's going to make it look prettier than stacking it somewhere. As for the output, um, I may go back and edit that. Uh, as I shake my head back and forth, will I see if I get to it? I don't know. Probably will. Uh, yeah, because that would be a lot of bales. Uh, that's why we went to 20,000 because that cut back on bales. But uh, yeah, we also may get the, the flatbed auto loading trailer. I know I said I wouldn't, but the way it's working out, you know, trying to make it look good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing the auto bailing anyways, like I just said a little while ago. I'm not going to go over that again. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.